Hello and welcome. In this video, I will guide you through how to download and install Brackets text editor. This is a brilliant text editor by Adobe. It is cross-platform, so it will work on a Mac and a Windows machine. You can download it from this installation address here or just do a Google search on Brackets. So this is the home page. So click on the download. Click on the download that says brackets without extract. Extract is a feature if you want to experiment on the cloud, but I would recommend just download brackets without extract for now. So click on the download. And that's the file being downloaded there. This is a previous download I tried to download, but for some reason I had to pause that. So this is a fresh download. So you should see your downloaded files being downloaded on the left bottom hand corner if you are on a Windows PC. I'm doing this on a Windows PC. So once you're done, just double click on it. And you are given this option here to run the installation, run, and then accept the default location, add brackets, launch out to that, add open brackets to Explorer, so you can accept the default, and then click install, and then the installation should progress fairly quickly. You might get a prompt from your antivirus software asking you if you want to install the application. So if you could say yes to that, and then it should progress. All right, so once you're done, you'll be given us a dialog box to say bracket was successfully installed. So you click finish and then you can exit the web browser. So after installation, you should see this is the brackets icon. So you can either right click, pin that to your taskbar, your menu, or maybe just drag it to your desktop and create a shortcut there. So let's try and launch the editor and see what it looks like. So you may get prompted with a firewall or antivirus to allow access. Click on that to allow access. You are presented with a sample code once you launch brackets. And then this icon here is called Live Preview. If you click on that, you get this pop-up box here that connects Live Preview to your browser. So at the moment, it only connects to Google Chrome. So what that does, it allows you to see the, your code in the Live Browser. So if I click OK, and then you should see the code in the web in the browser so this feature here is really cool this is the live preview and this is the code here it lets you preview your code in the browser so at the moment this only works in Google Chrome so when you click on this it connects you to Google Chrome it launches a different a new instance of Google Chrome so this here is a live co is a live preview of the code on the left so you can do stuff edit and then you see the live result on the right here so you can make changes on the editor on the left and you can see the the uh, the result on the right here so for example this h1 tag here let's change that if you keep an eye on the right just change that to hello you see that as you're making the changes, you're seeing it in the live browser. So you can see what your code looks like as you're typing the code. 
So I'm going to add an extra tag here. So if you, you should see the results on the preview. So I'll add an extra H2 tag. One good thing about this is so it gives you a clue as you're trying to type the tag in. So it, it, it knows you're trying to create a heading tag and it kind of like gives you some clues as to which one you want to do. So I'll just select H3 for now and then put my angle bracket. And if you notice, it's closed the tag for me. So I'll just say brackets is cool. You see that? It's That's the result of this here. So you, the live preview is very useful because you can see the code as you're typing it. Another good um, feature of this editor is that you can see, it lets you see the CSS that is linked to an element. So for example, this H1 element here, if I want to see the CSS, I click inside the tag and do a control E if you're on the, on the windows. You see, if you do control E, you can see, you can see the CSS that has been used to create the code. All right, so it tells you, shows you the CSS, you can see. It tells me that the H1 tags, see, click on that, it shows me the CSS. Control E, there you go. So it tells me the various CSS, so it's quite a cool feature to use.